what's up empire i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be a little different i'm going to tell my very first story time okay let me pull this up because i don't want y'all to feel like i don't have on the clothes <laughs> but yes so today's story time as you guys can tell from the title it's about when a client tried me why she do that y'all but it's not even that serious i was highly upset when it happened i feel like every entrepreneur or service based person will go through this at least once and this was my very 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 first time experiencing a customer who was not happy with her service but she was so yeah i have to tell y'all the whole story for y'all to understand as a matter of fact let me try to pull up the text messages so i can read along with you guys and then i will try to put them right here so you can read it of course i'm gonna block out her number maybe not i mean not her number but i may change it to a different name so you guys want to know who it is all right whatever so picture this march 3rd 2021 seven o'clock a.m I do lashes pretty pretty early i literally start at six o'clock in the morning depending on what time a person books but my open my open availability begins at 6 a.m because i do have another job so her open was at 7 a.m so on march 3rd she got her lashes done for the very first time she was a first time client to me we didn't talk you know how you have those clients where it's just like the vibe isn't I wouldn't say the vibe isn't there, but the vibe is to be quiet <laughs> and to just be chill. So that's what we were on. We were chilling. We didn't talk much during her appointment. I really don't remember talking to her at all. So, yeah, I don't know her at all. I don't know this chick. So March 3rd, she got her lashes done, and she expressed that she liked them before she, le she left because I always ask my clients, do you like your lashes I always ask them before they leave because y'all know how clients are. They'll tell you they like it, but when they leave, they want to tell you they don't like it. So I ask you to your face because once you leave, what do you want me to do? Unless there is a complication with your lashes, but just because you don't like them, <laughs> what do you want me to do if I asked you already? You get what I'm saying? So if I ask you in your face and you tell me that you don't like them, I will fix them right then and there but you're not gonna leave and then try to know so to prevent that i always ask my client look i always y'all know i can't talk i always ask my clients do they like their lashes she said yes i posted her lashes on my story in the following day before the story expired she commented on the story and expressed how much she she loved her lashes so cool you know i'm like okay another client I mean, I don't really get clients with the mindset of this is going to be a recurring client. I just do what I love and that's doing lashes to anybody who books an appointment. And I don't shortcut with any client. I have to treat every last client the same. I will give you the same exact service. I will give you the same amount of attention. I don't take shortcuts when it comes to something that my name is on. So, let's fast forward to March 13th. 2021 10 days later one two three four five my thumb nails broke six seven eight nine ten 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 days later as a matter of fact i remember these days so vividly because as some of you guys know i have another job well i had two other jobs but i work as a dance teacher as well and on this day my dance students had a performance and it was a morning it wasn't really in the morning but it was um on the daytime side and i was there because this was my baby's performance so my two to three year olds yeah so i was having a pretty busy morning that day and i was not on my phone i'm at work <laughs> i'm at work and i'm not gonna be on my phone that much especially dealing with kids and their costumes and their parents and crying i had no time <coughs> so i saw that i kept getting messages from this number that i didn't recognize but i thought nothing of it 
I already knew that it was probably a client. Because nine times out of ten, if I don't know the number, it's going to be a client. So, I didn't read them because I was busy. I got three messages. And I was like, okay, I'll check it later. Then I got two extra messages. And I was just like, okay, let me text back. So, I text back letting the person know to just give me a minute because I'm currently working. And once I finish, I will text them back. So once I told her that, she responds and said, okay, text me back. I just text you back, first of all, and I just text you and told you that I'm going to text you back. Like, that annoyed me. It annoyed me. It didn't make me mad, but it annoyed me because don't rush me. Like, do not do that. So I finally went back. I got off, the, I got off work, and I went back and read the messages, which stated, hey, boo. Another thing, don't boo me when you know you try to get something out of me or sweet talk your way into getting something that you want. That annoys me too. You met me once. You don't even know my name. Hey boo, I was trying to see if I could get a fill in with my lashes. I got them done like March 3rd and my right eye is about one fourth gone. They've been falling out piece by piece. I had the queen set, but this is what they look like now. And she sent the picture. And I'm not going to include the picture. Well, I might. I really don't care. But let's decode this message. One fourth of your lashes are gone. That is not a lot of lashes at all. So I'm guessing that you meant three fourths of your lashes are gone. But with the picture, no, they were not. <laughs> it was simply time for a fill in. Ten days. At 14 days, you are pretty much overdue for a fill-in. Mind you, this is March. Spring season just was starting and approaching. That is last shedding season time. Lashes shed tremendously during the spring. It's nothing no one can do about it. It's just natural. So, she texted again and she was like, I'm not sure of your policy, but let me know because it's only been a week. It's been 10 days. And also, how are you not sure of my policy when you have to agree to my policy before you even book an appointment? Because you didn't read that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with me. That's the whole purpose of making you guys agree to the policy. So for all my lash techs out there, nail techs, anything, any service-based person, please... Make sure you have your clients, your future clients, whatever. Make sure you have it on your booking site that they have to agree to the terms and policies that are on your site. Because they will try it. They will try it. And y'all know they will. So, I text her back once I was free. And I said, okay, it's normal. It's just time for a fill-in because you're in your second week with them, which is the time for a fill-in. So, yes. Also, you have to be mindful that we are approaching spring, so lashes are shedding more than they normally would. So, don't be alarmed. It's very expect expected. She takes back and she said, yes, I know. I've had individuals multiple times before, so I'm aware. But there's no way in 10 days lash my lashes should be this skim. Pissed off. You pissed me off right then and there. Because if you get individuals, which lashes are not individuals their extensions if you gotten them multiple times before why didn't you go to the person who typically does them that was red flag number one because most people who get a service done they go to a specific person the only time they'll go to someone else is if that person is not available and most of the time people are loyal loyal to who they go to so they won't even do that red flag number one number two how are you going to tell me there is no way that your lashes should be that skimmed in 10 days? Mind you, she sent the picture so they wasn't that skimmed. Are you certified or me? Because if that's the case, what you coming to me for? So I text back and I said there definitely is. You have four more days until you're past due for a fill-in. My policy states that if you have complications within 48 hours, contact me immediately because there will be something wrong on my part. At 10 days, I don't know if you've been washing your lashes and brushing them or keeping them up as you're supposed to. What is it that you're wanting me to do? So I had to ask her that at the end of the message because from her first message, she literally asked if she could get a fill-in. 
So when I text you back and say yes and you text me back complaining, I'm confused. So that's why I asked her that. And she said, okay, so basically what I'm saying is, can I come by later for you to fill in my right eye complimentary? Let me finish the message. Because my left eye, hold on. Because my left eye is good and full, it's my right eye. It looks so naked. So therefore, you can tell it's not me maintaining them. And you are right, you would know. But I'm also a paying customer that didn't have any issue within 48 hours. But if your policy says within two weeks and I'm at 10 days, then there's something you could you could that I shouldn't even have to sing as a customer with the little, I'm going to put the emoji. Well, you see, Missy. And she sent more pictures. Then she sent more messages and said, I'm not tripping and I'm not new to this at all. And you said weather. I don't think weather has anything to do with it because I've been out of town nowhere near spring weather. So that's for sure not an excuse. Baby, spring is a season. How can you not be around spring season? If you don't want to fill them in complimentary, then I would like either my deposit or refund back, please. Just let me know. I don't want any problems, but the same way you want your money worth, I do as well. Let me get this straight with everybody. I don't care about no money. I don't. That's not why I do lashes. If I was in it strictly for the money, I would not be putting my heart, my blood, sweat, and tears, staying up late at night to do this and that, accommodating my clients when they have complications. I do everything I can to accommodate and give my clients the best experience that they can have because I find that I get a lot of first-timers. So I always try to make their experience good because your first time getting lash extensions will really traumatize you or motivate you to keep getting them. So I always try to give them a great, great, great experience. But what you're not going to do is get your lashes done, wear them for 10 days, and then ask for your money back because you don't want to pay for a fill-in. So let me keep going. Because I actually was being nice to this girl, and y'all going to see why she pissed me off. And she was sending me so many messages at that time, back to back to back, because I was typing, and I guess I was taking too long to text her back. But during that time, y'all, I had to consult with my mom. Now, if my mom say I'm not wrong, I am not wrong. Y'all you, you, know. Your mom is going to tell you when you're wrong. My mom said I was not wrong. So I, I was like, okay, I'm not tripping. I thought I was tripping, and I was wrong. But no, I was not. <laughs> so I responded, and I said, I'm sorry, but no. Oh, yeah, and also, how are you going to tell me that you're going to come? Y'all know I do lashes at home. How are you going to tell me that I, you going to come to my house later today for me to do your lashes? Baby, I was off that day. I worked my other job and I worked a full performance. I'm not doing no lashes. Yeah. So I text back and I said, I'm sorry, but no. And I'm off today anyway. I can definitely give you money off your feeling for the inconvenience. You agreed to my policy put my policy which doesn't state two weeks it states 48 hours for complications this is not considered a complication even if i do one eye that's still a fill-in then if i do that you'll have the same problem in a few days with the other eye fill-ins are recommended every two weeks and you also agree to these terms upon booking you're right you didn't have any complications in those 48 hours because it was nothing i did wrong so i cannot do something for free when it has nothing to do with me you could be sleeping on that side or your lashes just grow faster on that side which is also normal it's not the weather that affects your lashes it's the actual approaching of the season so weather is no factor if you don't want money off your feeling that's fine but i'm not doing a refund of anything deposits are already non-refundable which is also in my policy you've had your extensions for 10 days no refund that's like me providing my service for free i'm running a business and my policy is just my policy if you want them removed i can do that as well and she takes back and said okay so i knew she was mad but i don't care because y'all would you go to the store and buy some clothes and wear them clothes for 10 days and then try to return them just because the tag's still on them? And they dirty now, though. Like, all the the quality of it when you first got it is not... You think I'm going to send you your money back? 
y'all have to realize clients have to realize that you are not just paying to get the service just to get lashes on your ass you're paying for my time for my skill set you're paying for all of that i am not giving you your money back my sets are also not expensive at all my sets don't even cost a hundred dollars my most expensive set is a hundred dollars so no no then I, I told y'all she was mad. So she went back and she texted me um how almost an hour later. And she says, I'm definitely not happy with your service then because <laughs> it was the then for me because just because I told you that I wasn't gonna give you your money back, now you're not happy with my service. Oh, okay. I'm definitely not happy with your service then because regardless if you were contacted within two days, I'm contacting you now about your service. That shouldn't matter. Policies are in place for a reason, but nope, shouldn't be no but. Policies are in place for a reason, period. But there's also this thing called customer service, which was provided because I offered you money off and I'm being very, very nice to you. You have a business, but no cu customer service. Let's see how long you be in business. Your business is very unprofessional, and I would not be advising anyone to your service or lash extensions. Thank you for this little 10-day queen set, though. It was a little cute while it lasted. FYI, my extensions were falling out within two days. Just because I didn't contact you doesn't invalid me or the complications. Maybe check your quality because it's definitely not me with a kissy face. First off... In this same conversation, you said that you didn't have any complications within those two days. You mad, sis. Second, it wasn't little and it wasn't little cute when you was DMing me telling me how much you liked them. And when you were saying how much you liked your lashes, it wasn't little then. Y'all be getting mad and y'all be getting besides y'all because all you had to do was say okay when I told you I wasn't giving you your money back. I'm not obligated to do anything. I'm not. And if you was to do, were to dispute it with your bank, I still would win, honey. Sorry, you got the lashes. You wore the lashes for 10 days. And I'm pretty sure you wore them until all of them fell out, which was probably about a month. So... Like, y'all had to understand my frustration at the moment because I was very upset because I've never had a client talk to me like this. I don't let regular people talk to me like this. So, to sit there and let somebody talk to me like that, it pissed me off. It pissed me off because I couldn't say what I wanted to say. And so, oh, another thing. When clients who are bad clients try to tell you that they won't recommend anyone to you, Y'all yeah, know the service provi provider doesn't care, right? Because anybody that you were probably going to recommend to me, they're probably just like you. And I don't want that as a client at all. So sorry to tell you, I don't. Like, no. You, your friends, your mama, your cousin, your sister, none of y'all are welcome. And after she sent it, well, before she sent that message, she was banned from booking with me anyway because, no. Mm-mm. So I text back and I said, just because you didn't get the outcome you wanted doesn't make me unprofessional. My policy is my policy. Have a great day. There are several great texts in the area. Please take your business elsewhere. And I blocked her because had she said anything else to me, um, Girl, don't play with me because it's not even that serious over no lashes. And I wasn't even that mad to say all of it. Like, I wasn't that mad fighting that. I was honestly laughing at the girl because pay for a feeling. Get a feeling. It's time for a feeling. Or go to the person that you were going to those multiple times before me. And they'll last. Like you say, they be lasting, girl. Home girl. <laughs> This y'all already recorded this story, so if I my energy seem a little down or I seem a little weird, it's because I literally I already recorded this video. But that's it, you guys. That is the story time about the first client I had who had a bad experience. And to any lash sex out there, do not let anything like this discourage you because, like I said, people just be mad. They just be mad, and. They feel like because we are service providers that we have so much money, but it don't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. Stand on your policy. 
with family friends anybody because you can't let anybody just run over you and your business stand on your policy ten toes on you please um and just you guys just just block all the negative energy out if you get clients like that do not let them book with you again because that will hurt you in the long run and your energy and not them block them wait that's all you guys i can't wait to see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click that bell notification so you don't miss any time i post a video and i will see you guys in the next one